One thing I almost always get when I am grocery shopping is a rotisserie chicken. I am super tired when I get home from grocery shopping or running errands all day and a rotisserie chicken is the answer to stretch this not only for dinner tonight but for multiple meals. If you're new here, my name is Amy Cross and this is The Cross Legacy where I teach you how to save money on groceries and be able to feed your family. We have a membership group called The Grocery Solution where you get access to a private community and you can see all year long how I'll use things like a roasted chicken multiple ways throughout the different seasons because it's never the same. So make sure you're checking out that link below in the description and following along. Now let's get started on what we're doing today. I am going to give you some suggestions on how to use this $5 chicken to make multiple meals. Did you know that a rotisserie chicken will only last four days in your refrigerator if you store it in an airtight container. So if you've left it in this container, it's not considered food safe. My favorite glass container for things like whole roasted chicken or an entire head of lettuce is these Resob glass containers with the snap-on lids. They are the perfect size. We have these listed in our Amazon storefront which is linked below. This whole chicken will fit into this glass container. So the night that I get this from the store, I would put it into the glass container because that way it'll be safe for four days in the refrigerator and then use it the next day if I was only going to use a portion of it. I really want to encourage you, instead of just putting this away into the refrigerator, thinking that your family is going to eat leftovers, that you actually make a plan for how you're going to use the leftovers and they don't get tossed because four days goes really quickly. We had this for dinner last night. There's still half of a chicken here. So I want to show you some of my tips on how I divide this out to make multiple meals and give you some meal suggestions. Okay, so oftentimes I'll take the extra chicken breast and I will just slice it up like this because I can always dice it up smaller. But if I freeze it this way, I can use it multiple ways. So I'm going to store this in about a cup to a cup and a half portions, which is the amount that I need to make chicken pot pies. It always seems like putting the breasts away is the easiest part and you have to kind of get your fingers dirty to do the rest. All right, I try to pull as much meat as I can off of this and I will put this in a gallon size Ziploc bag in the freezer. So whenever I have a whole chicken, I make sure that I keep the chicken carcass, the chicken bones, and I put those in the freezer until I have two or three and then I make chicken stock out of that. It's actually made with your discarded chicken bones and any leftover onion, celery, and carrots that you might have saved in your freezer. Chicken stock from the store is so expensive and it's actually very nutritious if you make it from scratch at home. If you want to learn more about making your own chicken stock, we have a blog post for that linked in the description. So we had this $5 rotisserie chicken for dinner last night and I have two more servings that I can stretch these out. So a couple of the ways that I could use this up is making at least two more chicken pot pies. Since it's like fall wintry weather right now, that sounds perfect. I would make one for now and one for the freezer. So we actually got three dinners out of one rotisserie chicken. But I love how our meals kind of swap around through the season. So in the winter time, I would keep them in these smaller portions like this and use it for chicken pot pie or chicken and rice, different warm and hearty recipes that will fill our family up. In the summertime, we would often use these as chicken salad sandwiches or in gyros. You can even season it to make tacos out of them. Most of the time when we first bring it home, we just put barbecue sauce on it. <laughs> in the summertime, we use it a completely different way than we would use it in the wintertime. In the Grocery Solution membership community, we are going to be sharing a bunch of recipes on how I use rotisserie chicken over the different seasons. Make sure you're checking out that link below to find out more about the grocery solution.